Lola, this is Bill Cole, one of the show's producers. He'll be reading the parts of both Greg and Mr. Brady. I almost worked with your father a few years back. He never made it out of development, unfortunately. It happens. Okay, Marsha brushes her teeth before bed. Greg tells her Mr. Brady wants to talk to her in his study. I'm sorry, what are you doing? You just said Marsha brushes her teeth before bed. In her pajamas. Well, I don't wear pajamas. Marsha does. Okay, can we just do this? I have somewhere to be later. Okay. Uh, Marsha, da Dad wants to see you in the study. Well, tell him tough shit, Greg. He's not my father and he's not my boss. Carol wants to shack up with him, that's her problem. But if you think I'm gonna bow down to some stranger just because he's fucking my mother, you can think again. Okay, Lola, the line is, gee, Greg, I hope I'm not in trouble. Yeah, but why would she be in trouble? She didn't do anything wrong. She's sharing a bathroom with five people, for Christ's sakes. I mean, isn't Mr. Brady an architect? Hello, build a fucking addition. Okay, thanks for coming in. No, 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 no. Lola makes a good point. You know, l let's, let's go ahead and try the second scene uh, with Mr. Brady. So, whenever you're ready, Lola. Okay. You wanted to see me, Mike? Call me Dad, Marsha. I didn't even call my real father Dad. What do you want? Okay, uh, well, see, the reason I wanted to talk to you, Marsha, is that I, I think we need to go over some ground rules. Okay, let's get something straight, Mike. I'm not going over any ground rules with you, okay? So you can drop this whole Lord of the Manor thing right now. You can also stop checking my ass out every time I walk up the stairs. Creeps me out. Um, the, the kids are complaining that you're hogging the bathroom, Marsha. <laughs> you really expect me to share a bathroom with my two idiot sisters and your three horny sons? The way I see it is you ought to worry a little bit less about rules and a little bit more about getting a bigger pad. And why the fuck does the maid get her own room? <laughs> She's downstairs boning that disgusting butcher while I'm upstairs chopped like Anne fucking Frank. You really ought to get your shit together before you send your creepy son upstairs to summon me down here to rap about rules. That shit might fly with my mother, but don't try pulling that hustle on me because I'm 100% not having it. Okay? Dad, I think we've seen enough. Uh, do you have a number we can reach you at? You know, don't even worry about it. This is the crappiest idea I think I've ever heard of. Take it easy. 